Alright, so we got Detective Comics 997. Two more to go. And we will have issue 1000. I cannot wait for issue 1000. I'm getting two covers. Already kind of went and talked to my comic shop guy. Got them ready to go. I'm getting them for sure. So, unfortunately, this arc could have been settled within one, like one issue less so far. Um, but this issue was much better than the last one. I didn't like the last issue. That was really boring. This issue makes up for it for sure. Uh, so, if you remember in the last issue, Mr. Miracle, the OG original Mr. Miracle shows up. I didn't even know he was still alive. I thought he was dead. They don't explain why he's still alive either. Like, he just been hiding the whole time. He just kind of came out like he reminded me of uh, Dragon Ball when Master Roshi busts out of the bathroom <laughs> after taking a dump. But anyway, waiting for a miracle. So there he is right there. That's pretty cool. Um... I don't think he's been around for a long time, but in case you didn't know, this man taught Batman how to be an escape artist as well as the current Mr. Miracle. They were both, he was both their mentors. I don't think at the same time, but nonetheless, that's him. Just in case you didn't know, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I had to look it up, I'm going to be honest. But anyway, uh, this is a really good issue. Most of it's them kind of, uh, you know... Going through the shark tank, trying to figure out how they're going to escape. Like, this is pretty much half of the issue. And that's most of it. It's just them escaping from the shark tank. They're all kind of weighted down and beat up. We do find out, though, who is doing the, the orchestrating of this crime that's going on. Like, killing Batman's buddies. Going after all of his teachers. Uh, once again, the art, fantastic. Let me go back to the, gets, uh, okay, Doug Mankey, and we got Tomasi writing it. Colors to David Barron. Everyone's doing a great job on this book, art-wise. Tomasi's doing really good. I just didn't like the last issue. I thought it was kind of boring. Um, for $4 a pop, you know, I expect more. This issue, though, delivered it. And it's really funny when you read this issue, like, when you read Detective Comics and you read Tom King's Batman run, it's like, they're so different. This Batman acts like Batman, whereas Tom King's Batman is just like this, you know, soy version of Batman. He's a big wuss, can't control his emotions. They're completely different. But we've had Batman acting like Batman. I mean, uh, I watched I watched uh, Zach's review of it, and he nailed it on pretty good. Like, Detective Comics Batman has been acting like Batman for a while, and the Tom King Batman has just been boring, 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 boring. Some interesting stuff, though. So this guy shows up. This is that guy that's been stalking him. He's got his utility belt. Now we find out what's going on. He's like, I know all your secrets and stuff. Well, it's uh, spoilers, right? It's Doctor Strange that's uh, Hugo Strange is coming after him. That's why he's knowing all this stuff about him. So that's the big secret reveal. Oh, look, Bendis ruining things. Check this out, too. <laughs> the future of the fourth world is female. <laughs> oh, DC shooting themselves in the foot again. In the foot again. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? I, I, I'm so lost. This is going to sell poorly. Like, no one's going to go in there. I really, so I hope to God you put the fourth, the future of the fourth world is female on the comic, the comic cover. Please do that. Please do that. Like, who is, who's making these decisions? Who sat down and said, let's put this, like, oh, everyone's turned off to this. Let's, let's make this the comic cover. I don't get it. Right? Like, you're putting out shit like this. Right? Look at, that's awesome. And you're putting this out. Meh, 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 meh. I don't get it. Like, uh, who's who's approving these, right? Like, who thought this would be a good idea? Are you not watching what's going on at Marvel? You're literally restructuring. You've cut down half of your books. You're doing the right things. Are you cutting down half of your books to sell this trash? 
It doesn't make any sense to me. Then why are you canceling Batman and the Outsiders, which would be a much better book, and this is what you're replacing it with? Female? Am I saying this right? Furries? <laughs> okay. All right. Comic shops, if you're smart, don't order this. No one's going to buy this. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. But uh, we see uh, Dr. Sh- uh, Dr. Strange here. He's like hanging out in Batman cosplay, <laughs> doing some uh, experiments. And then uh, Batman shows up the end. So 998 might be the final issue. And then I'm thinking 999... We're going to get maybe like a downtime issue, and then we'll get 1,000, which will be a bunch of short stories, I'm sure. Um, I'm wondering how they're going to do that book compared to how they did Action Comics 1,000. But I'm really excited for issue 1,000. Huge milestone. Really looking forward to reading it. Can't wait. I hope it's as good as Action Comics was. I I loved Action Comics 1,000. So anyway, this is solid. This is much better. Compared to 996, which I did not like. So let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you're thinking about this issue. What do you think about the the future Furies with uh, the female apocalypse? What do you think about that? Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Check out the links in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.